guys, I'm back, and apologies for this uh, small technical problem that I have faced. Just to let you know that I have just opened my short positions on dollar CHF, so I have entered, I have just shorted dollar CHF with a stop loss at 0 0.99709 and a take profit at 0 0.98789. So as you can see, I have put also a buy stop order, a reverse buy stop order at 99 short order. And the TP of the buy stop order is the stop loss of my short position trade, as I have mentioned. The second trade I have placed is that I have shorted also the Kiwi, New Zealand USD. Uh, with a stop loss at 65.481 and a take profit at 64.561. And at the same time, I have placed a buy stop order at 65.131. The stop loss of the buy stop order is the TP of my short position, and the TP of the buy stop order is the stop loss of my short position. And the last trade I have just placed is that I have shorted as well pound dollar with a stop loss at 1.3208 and a TP at 1.29288. And I also have my hedged buy stop order trade triggered at 1.29858. And as I said, we are crossing the stop loss with the TPs. Now, I repeat that for all the short positions we have the same stop loss and TP for all the long positions we have or orders. We have the same stop loss and same TP. Okay, guys, uh, are you with me? Did you understand what I have just done? Just type yes in the trading room so that I know that you understand. So for the moment, we have six positions already running. I'm long euro dollar with stop loss 114.358, take profit 115.278. I'm long dollar cut. Stop loss 128.219, TP 129.139, long dollar yen, stop loss 113.774, thank you Stevens, TP 114.694, I have just shorted dollar CHF, stop loss 99.709, take profit 0 0.98789, I just shorted the Kiwi as well. Stop loss 65.481, take profit 64.561. And I have also shorted pound dollar, stop loss 1.3028, take profit 129.288. Now, reverse sell stop orders for pound dollar are triggered at the price. And this is very important to know the price, when to place your order for a reverse position. For euro dollar is placed at 1.14708. Four dollar cut is placed at 1.28569. Four dollar yen at 114.124. Four dollar CHF at 0 0.99359. For the Kiwi at 0 0.65131. And for pound dollar at 1.29858. Okay, guys, in case you decide to follow me on all of these trades, you need to have in place also these buy stop orders. So I'm leaving my screen share there so that you know the exact prices of the reversal of the positions. It's very important to have exactly the same prices on the reversal position sizes uh, so that we get profit eventually. So my best performer for the moment is Euro dollar. And I think in a short while I will enter maybe short positions on euro yen long the dollar i will check i will check how it goes and inform you accordingly as i always do so i'm sharing my screen if i repeat you can use the forex calculation spreadsheet adjust your position size accordingly so that you know how much margin utilization you will get you can follow me on any of these pairs maybe it will be a good idea to follow me only on two of these. You don't need to follow me on any of these, on all of them. You, we, we can still make money even from one or two or three pairs. You are the managers of the account. You are having the control and the risk management of your trading account. So that's all I have for the moment. Most probably I will enter additional positions in a short while. 
I will let you know. And again, apologies for this small technical problem I had and I wasn't here in the morning session. However, our trades are still developing very well and I will update you shortly about any further updates. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, here I am again. I think I will enter uh, short positions on Euro Yen. So I will go short Euro Yen. There we go. I think I will enter short positions on Euro Yen. So I just shorted Euro Yen. So we ha have just shorted Euro Yen with uh, my stop loss at 131.961 and my take profit at 131.041 i have placed also a buy stop order and the triggering price and this is very important of the buy stop order is at 131.611 and i just reverse the tps and the stop losses so for the short position the TP is at 131.041. This is becomes the stop loss of the buy stop. And for the short position, the stop loss is at 131.961. This now becomes the take profit of the buy stop. So the triggering price, however, of the buy stop, the triggering price of the buy stop is 131.611. One. So I have just shorted Euro Yen, stop loss 131.961, TP 131.041. Also, moreover, I want to place the following position, guys. Let me see, let me see. I will enter long positions on Aussie dollar. So let's go. Long positions on Aussie dollar. Long positions on Aussie dollar. There we go. I have just opened a long position on Aussie dollar. Let's see. Let's see. So I have just entered a long position on Aussie dollar with a stop loss at 0 0.7232 and take profit at 0 0.71152 and i have placed the sell stop order now the triggering price of the sell stop order and this is very important again triggering price of sell stop order is at 0 0.7582 and we use the same technique for tp and stop loss tp becomes stop loss, stop loss of the opening position becomes TP of the order. Moreover, I got a nice confirmation, got a very nice confirmation for a long position as well on pound yen, guys, pound yen. So I will enter long positions on pound yen so long positions on pound yen there we go so i have just entered long positions on pound yen five lots now stop loss is at 147.628 take profit 148.548 right great trade and the sell stop order, the reverse position, the triggering price is 147.978. Make sure you write this down, it's very important. The reverse position for the long positions on pound yen is 147.978. And as you know, the TP becomes a stop loss and the stop loss becomes the take profit. And also, I have a very nice setup on pound Aussie for a short position as well. A short position. I would like to place a short position on pound Aussie. So I would place now a short position on pound Aussie, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Short pound Aussie. Let me see. I have just shorted pound Aussie. 
So we have just entered a short position on Paunozi with stop loss 1.83710 and a TP at 1.82790. Right, great. Now, the triggering price for the reversal position on Paunozin is at 1.83360. 1.8336, right? 1.8336. The TP of the trade becomes the stop loss of the order. The stop loss of the trade becomes the TP of the order. You can use the Forex spreadsheet in order to calculate your proper position sizes. So for the moment, we have opened 10 Forex pairs. We will keep a close eye on them and we will update you for any further improvements or alternations in the directional movement of our positions. Let me repeat my card and open trades. I'm long euro dollar, I'm long dollar card, long dollar yen, I'm short dollar CHF, short the Kiwi, short the cable, I'm short euro yen, long Aussie dollar, long pound yen, and short pound Aussie. Okay, guys, is everything clear? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me directly through the chat room and me and my colleague Elif will be more than glad to answer any questions you might have. So I will leave this trace develop. It's always good to check that if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trades, then you need to have ten pending orders. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten below, ten above. We are doing great. I will let you know if anything changes and I will come back live in order to update you if I believe that is important something to mention it. So thank you very much for being with me. I will come back shortly. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's a very crucial update. We have just uh, reversed our positions on uh, pound no Z and pound dollar. And as you can see, I automatically place another sell stop order with exactly the same price as our initial uh, short positions. So the sell stop order is at 129.65. Take profit on Paunozi. Let's see Paunozi, for example. I have placed, I repeat, a sell stop order on Paunozi and a sell stop order on pound dollar. We have reversed our positions to long positions on Paunozi. You see that with stop loss, the TP of the previously short position and the sell stop order now has exactly the same uh, entry level. As you can see, the entry level of the sell stop order is at 1.83178. So let me put it time wise. So pound Aussie, the sell stop order now, the next reversal trade is at 1.83178. TP, as you can see, is at 1.83710 and take profit at 1.8279. And also, I have reversed to long positions as well on pound dollar, as you can see here. I have reversed to long positions on pound dollar and I have placed also a sell stop order at 1.29650, stop loss 1.3208 and take profit 1.29. 288. So these are the current updates. As we can see, also Euro Yen trade, Euro Yen position is getting ready to be reversed. This is the green button. It means that we are less than 10 pips away from our triggering price. And we will see how the trades will develop. So I repeat for the, the current positions that I have long Euro dollar. Stop loss 1.14358, take profit 1.15278 with a sell stop order at 1.14708. And we take the TP, now is our stop loss, and the stop loss of this trade is now our TP. For dollar card, I have long positions at 1.28789, stop loss 1.28219, take profit 1.29139. 
and I have also a sell stop pending order at 1.28569. The stop loss is the TP of the open trade, of the last open trade, and the TP is the stop loss of this position. For dollar yen, I have a long position at 114.344, stop loss 113.774, TP 114.694, and as you can see, I have a sell stop pending order at 114.124. The stop loss is the TP of the open position. The TP of the order is the stop loss of the open position. Moving on, I have a short position on dollar CHF at 0 0.99139, stop loss 0 0.99709, take profit 0 0.98789, and I have also a buy stop order at 99359. Stop loss of the order is the TP of the position. TP of the order is the stop loss of the position. The same for the Kiwi. Now, the only alternation I had is that I, I have reversed to long positions, as you can see, on pound dollar. Pound dollar, we are now net long with our pending order. And also I have reversed to net long positions on pound Aussie. So the trades are still developing. All the rest remain the same. The trades are still developing and we will update you if we will have any more updates or changes in our current position directional uh, current directional forex positions so as i said you don't need to follow us on all the pairs you can choose two or maximum three positions three pairs and follow us if you wish it's absolutely at your own discretion that's the current update i have i will let you know if i have more thank you Hello guys, hello guys. Our Italy 40 position got triggered with $1,675. We just hit take profit on gold, $1,678. Well done for us. And uh, also our UK 100 position is giving us right now $900, guys. $900 on UK 100. Uh, I will let this position to run a bit more and then I will put a positive stop loss, guys. I will put a positive stop loss and I will show this to you again let's see when it will be time for that stay with us okay guys just a very small update as you can see we have just reversed to short positions again on pound oz with stop loss at 1.83710 and take profit at 1.82790 and we have placed the buy stop order at 1.83398, stop loss 1.82790 and take profit 1.83710. So those who are following me on Pound Aussie, be careful to place the correct prices and the correct position sizes. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's another update. We have reversed again our position on Pound OZ, so we have entered long positions on Pound OZ again at 1.83398 with a stop loss at 1.82790 and a TP at 1.83710. And at the same time, as you can see, we have placed our next sell stop order. So sell stop order pound Aussie at 1.83178 with a stop loss 1.83710, 1.83710 and a TP at 1.82790. So if now this sell stop order is triggered again, then we will place the next buy stop order as we usually do. For those of you who are following me on Pound Aussie, a very volatile, a very active pair, 
So let's see how do this will end up. So that's the current update. If I have any other updates, of course, you will be the first ones to know. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are back. Good news, our pound, dollar, and pound nose in trades are doing very well for the moment. We are monitoring the chart of pound nose. Pound nose is getting ready for an upside breakout, and we will closely observe it and see if that breakout occurs. Also, another thing that is very important is that our pound dollar trades are approaching their key piece. We are also long on pound dollar, and you see that the price now is trying to break above the MA of 200 periods. It's a crucial level for pound dollar. It will be very interesting to see and check if this level is penetrated to the upside. So our pound dollar and pound nosy positions for the moment are looking very promising. We are missing just a few pips from our take profit on pound dollar. And also we are missing that breakout that I think we will see it live here. An upside breakout of the ascending triangle. This is an ascending triangle bullish continuation pattern on pound Aussie. and usually these patterns break violently to the upside and you are monitoring now that we are getting close to hit tps on pound dollar but my eyes are on pound Aussie, guys since that's my bigger position on pound Aussie. of course pound dollar is also great but I want, I definitely want to see the ascending triangle on pound nosy. That's a bullish continuation pattern. If you see that after an uptrend, usually it, the break of that tr bullish ascending triangle is violent. Now only the Bollinger Band is holding pound nosy from breaking to the upside. And I believe that any moment now we will see that happening. So pound dollar is also eight, just eight pips away from our take profit pound dollar our net long positions are making money currently we have closed one profitable position $1,530 but for the day I have made some minor mistakes in the morning our daily profits are $1,182 let's see if we will manage and increase that amount today guys so nice volatility after the announcement of the u.s initial jobless claims which came out better than expected but it seems that the markets are reacting in the opposite way the dollar instead of getting strengthening against the euro is getting weakening against the euro especially against the pound so it could be very interesting to see if we will manage and close our pound nozin and pound dollar positions so we see now the pound Aussie. I repeat, that's an ascending triangle bullish continuation pattern, as some of you might have learned from your training programs. If you have not studied patterns, then we strongly suggest to take advantage of the 10% discount that we currently that TradeMe offers in our training programs and upgrade your training program so that you know how to interpret and uh, recognize correctly price patterns price patterns are crucial for any type of instrument trading you that you would like to do for forex for cfds for stocks for metals for commodities there are some funds that they just trade price patterns so they are of crucial importance so if you haven't heard about an ascending triangle continuation pattern that's a golden opportunity for you guys to upgrade your training programs I repeat, we are offering 10% discount in all of our training programs until the end of the week, which is until tomorrow afternoon. So we are monitoring the trades and I will update you if I close any positions with a profit. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the afternoon session here at TradeMe.com. Our afternoon session starts, guys, and I would like to personally welcome all the participants. Hello, Allen, Fanos, Francis, Terence has just joined us. So good afternoon, Terence, as well. Good afternoon, George, Jeff. Hello, Jenna, Laura. Good afternoon, Mary, always here with us, and thank you. Good afternoon, Oscar, Patrick, Stevens. So I would like to personally welcome you all guys. Our afternoon session starts 
And let's go through our four expositions. Now, for those of you who we are not present in the morning, let me explain again how we are trading Forex. So uh, I have provided and contact your account matches for that, an Excel spreadsheet. Here you can put your initial position size depending on the account balance that you have, your live trading accounts. The minimum position size you can start is 0 0.0.05 lots and automatically you, the, the system gives you the position. So if you start with 0 0.05 lots, you can get a maximum position size of 8.26 lots. If you change that to 0 0.12, you can get a maximum position size if, if the position reverses seven times, 19 lots, almost 20 lots. If you change that to 0 0.10, you can get 16 lots. So by receiving this spreadsheet, you will know what the maximum exposure of each trade, of each Forex pair you are trading with is, and you can easily control and monitor your margin requirements for stop out avoiding purposes. Now, this Excel spreadsheet is available through your account managers at TradeTheMe.com. So if you don't have it, you can contact your personal account managers to provide it and explain how it works. Now, moving on with our Forex positions, what we have done so far. So far, we have just closed one position, our long position on pound yen in the morning, realizing $1,530. But our profits for the day are less than that because of some minor mistakes that I have done. I didn't want to open these positions and, they, and I have opened them accidentally. So our, our profits for the moment are $1,180. So the current positions that we have is are the following ones. Aussie dollar, we have a long position with a stop loss at 0 0.7232, take profit 0 0.71152. For Euro yen, I have a short position with a stop loss 131.961, take profit 131.041. Now, for Aussie dollar, for my long position on Aussie dollar, I have a sell stop order in place at 0 0.7582. Those of you who have uh, chosen to follow me on Aussie dollar, that price is of crucial importance. So the sell stop order, depending on what your initial position size is, if for example, is 0 0.10, as you can see on the Excel spreadsheet, here it will write, for example, buy 0 0.10, and here, you will have a sell stop order. This is the first reverse position of an equivalent position size of 0 0.22. Okay. If that order now is triggered, then we will place a buy stop order with the next position size. Now, how do we determine our TPs and stop losses? Now, if you, if you have a look on, for example, Paunozzi that I have multiple positions open. So this is the initial first pos reverse position, second reverse position, third reverse position. What do we observe? Look at the short positions. They always have the same TP and the same stop loss. So the short position of the five lots, the stop loss is at 1.8371 and the TP is at 1.8279. The short position of the 18 lots has exactly the same stop loss and take profits. The same goes for the long positions. The lo all the long positions, all the long orders have the same TP. You see that? 80, 82.79, 83.71, and another long position here, 82.79, 83.71. So basically, what we are doing, we are reversing. If we reverse from a short to long position and vice versa, we take the stop loss of the previous order and we put it as a take profit. And we take the take profit of the previous trade executed and we put it as a stop loss. So now, for example, I'm net long pound OZ, so my, with, t, with stop loss 1.8279 and a take profit of 1.8371. So my sell stop order, the TP is the stop loss. And the stop loss of the long position is the TP of the order. 
Okay, so this is as far as the take profit and stop loss levels is determined. So for all long existing open trades and long orders, all of them have the same stop loss and STP. For any short positions or any sell stop orders, again, they all have the same stop loss and TP. What is very important, however, to know is the triggering price of the next order. So, for example, on Paunozi, I have placed a sell stop order and the triggering price is 1.83178. The stop loss and the TP is very easy to find it. You find the last trade and you just reverse them. The TP of this trade becomes the stop loss and the stop loss of this current position, the last position that we open becomes a TP, as simple as that. So regarding position size, for example, on Paunozi, we had one initial position, first, second, third reversal trade. So for Paunozi, for example, if you have opened a 0.10 lots, now you should have an open position of 0.78 lots and a pending order of 1.67 lots. If you have opened 0.08, then the last trade running should be 0.62, and the position size of the, la of the next pending order. So in other words, this one should be, let me show you, for example, initial position, one, two, three. So the third reversal, so you should have a 0.62, if your initial position size is 0.08, you should have 0.62 pound Aussie long, and you should have placed a 1.34 lots sell stop order. So I hope this makes it easy and more convenient, guys, for you to follow us, if you wish. I would like to repeat that. You c it's impossible to follow us on all 10 pairs that I'm trading. You can make your own choices. Maybe you can follow us on the Onozi dollar. Or like, for example, Stevens has said, he has followed us only on Euro dollar. Or you can follow us on Euro dollar and Euro yen. It's your choice to follow us on any, if you wish to follow us. Nobody's forcing you guys. If you wish to follow us on any of our Forex pairs. So these are basically... Uh, the updates, the, the trades are, are developing well. The only thing that we need to say, like yesterday, guys, we have to be patient. Yesterday, later, a bit after five, we have managed and closed positions and we have realized $9,000 of profit. Since the beginning of the week, for example, patience, we have managed to realize $13,800 since the beginning of the week. But is moving a bit slow. You have to be patient. And of course, fear should not be part of the equation when you trade. So make sure you use proper position sizes depending on your account balance. The, for this system, the minimum position size you can start a trade is 0.05 lots and the maximum is one lot. It's up to you to decide on which forex pair or pairs you will follow us and it's up to you to decide what the initial position size of the trade will be. So I have all the scenarios here up to the seventh reverse position. You can do your calculations and you can decide accordingly. This spreadsheet is available through your personal account managers. So in case you haven't received it, contact your personal account managers and they will forward it to you so that we all speak the same language and avoid any problems or confusions. Okay, guys, is this clear? Thank you very much. So these are the current four expositions. Let me, uh, I repeat that on Aussie dollar, I'm long. On Euro yen, I'm short. On Euro dollar, I'm long. On Pound Aussie, I have net long positions and we are monitoring the chart of Pound Aussie. Pound dollar, we have reversed to net long positions. Short the Kiwi, long the Looney. The Looney is the low dollar cut. Short the dollar CHF, and we have also reversed to net short positions on dollar yen. We are patiently waiting for the trades to develop. Also, have in mind that in a few minutes we have important announcements regarding the Canadian dollar and the US dollar at uh, in approximately 40 minutes from now, towards the end again of our trading session. 
and it will be very interesting to see how the markets will react. We are monitoring the news from our partners portal website forexlive.com. We have factory orders for the United States. Expectations are much better than the previous month. The previous month, the factory orders indicated a decline of minus 0.8 percent. Now we are expecting an increase in the factory orders of 2.1 percent. And we have for the Canadian dollar, the IV purchasing managers index expectations are 62.3, better than the actual previous month figures of 61.9. So in 40 minutes approximately, we will have these news announcements coming out, but I believe we will close some positions until then, especially on Paunozi. Now, what I'm observing on Paunozi is a clear uptrend since the morning. You can see that, obviously, but the interesting part is this sideways consolidation, which is a price formation pattern. This is an ascending triangle bullish continuation pattern. Okay, we have rising bottoms and a flat top. If in your training programs you don't have price patterns study, and since we are offering 10% discount until tomorrow, guys, to upgrade your training programs, go ahead and upgrade your training programs. Some hedge funds that I used to work for are just trading using price partners. So you understand the importance of recognition and understanding of price patterns. And what I see here is an ascending bullish triangle continuation pattern, if it is completed to the upside. So I'm expecting an upside breakout on Paunozi. I like this consolidation as soon as it holds above this level, these lows here, and I believe we will get it and we'll make some nice money. So this is the Forex current Forex market update. How many of you guys have followed us on any of the Forex pairs I have traded? As I said, nobody's forcing you to follow us on all the trades or any of the trades. But I would love to know. I know that Stevens followed us on Euro Dollar, long positions. Let's see who else has followed us on any of the Forex pairs: Aussie Dollar, Euro Yen, Euro Dollar, Pound Aussie, Pound Dollar, Kiwi, Dollar Card, Dollar CHF, and Dollar Yen. I'm trading ten pairs. Okay. Have in mind that you cannot trade ten pairs. You can uh, since if if it is the start. For you, you can trade two, maximum three pairs just to get used to it. And as soon as you get more comfortable, you can increase the number of pairs. Even one pair can make money. For example, Euro dollar is making $1,135. So it's not volume, it's selection and quality. So that's all about Forex. You have traded Francis with us, Pound, Aussie. And you have used the Excel and you have reversed your positions. Francis or not? Francis, you have traded Paunozi. You are long, okay. Have you followed us on all these trades or just some of them? Okay, we are long as well. Targeting 1.8371. Okay, Francis, and for everybody, if at some point, if at some point you feel comfortable with the profits or you feel uncomfortable with the possible losses, no need to say that you can close your positions at any time you feel comfortable with them, okay? So I'm aiming for 33 pips, 35 pips on Paunozi. Maybe, Francis, you feel comfortable with 20 pips of profit or with 10 pips of profit. Feel free. You can close your position at any time you wish. So good to know that you have a long position on Pound. Let's see how it will react on that. Okay. So that's all I have for the moment, guys. Let's, Elif, are you ready for an update? Okay, let's go straight to Elif for an update. And if I have any updates, you will come back to me shortly. Thank you. Hello guys, here I am. Nice afternoon with uh, 
nice entry and exit levels which we missed somehow yes guys sometimes this happens also to us and, and not happens to us but uh, it's something which i wanted to show you guys uh, on uk 100 as you remember i told you this morning that it is a wonderful trait and i'm uh, very convinced about it and I traded it and it gave me a profit of around $1,200 over here and I didn't close it. I didn't close it because I was aiming for a bit more and now it reversed again to our in entry level. Now we are making a small profit on it but it's something you know you have to be a bit more flexible with your trade profits guys when you see that uh, there is much, I mean, my stochastic oscillator was giving me the signal that I have to exit the position, but I didn't. So, um, what I want to tell you guys, this belongs also to trading and you have to be aware of it. It's that you have to be a bit flexible with your um, take profits as well as you can see here guys i uh, i should have exited i didn't now we are making on gold three thousand four thousand dollars on gold guys i'm making four thousand uh, dollars okay sometimes you have to um, um, exit and adjust your take profits accordingly and on the uk 100 position i didn't it moved the way up and now it's again a bit thinking of returning back it gives me the signals that it will return back but i will see if and how i will trade it so we are making right now a bit of money on gold i want to keep it because i see here this is one of the examples i see that it will drop further down on my stochastic oscillator i see that uh, i can expect a drop so i will stick a bit more on this trade before i close this one okay guys just for you to know so we have also a gold trade which is running right now we have an italy 40 trade where is our italy 40 trade is here and we are long on italy 40 and right now we started to make a bit of money here on our DAX trade, we still need a bit of time until we can exit it, so we see it. Um, UK 100, as I said, we need to be a bit more aware and exit the price when it comes to exit. So, uh, what happened with oil? As you remember, I wanted to trade oil and I was telling you that um, there is a squeeze and we don't know in which direction the squeeze will break out and look at this it broke out below and maybe we can enter a nice trade here as well guys what you say let's wait until the opening and then i might enter here again a uh, trade for now our positions we closed until now um several positions we closed the usa 100 tax gold italy 40 positions and we made in total until now six thousand dollars guys six thousand dollars so far not bad for the moment let me go again to this level on oil i see a pullback and once the pullback is over i will enter again a oil position on gold on italy 40 we are up right now 1200 dollars on italy 40 let's see maybe we have to exit the position no, I will not exit the position. I will stick on my take profit of $2,400 here. On gold, we are making $2,300. $3,000. 
I will still stick on gold. It is, we have another 10 minutes to go for the American opening, guys. We have another 10 minutes to go for the American opening. So, let's get ready for gold position to close. And then we will concentrate on the U.S. indices. U.S. indices tomorrow, we will have a lot of action on the U.S. indices. Hello, Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie just joined us. Who's with us, by the way, today, now in the afternoon? Yeah, hello from my side as well to Laura, Mary, Patrick, C, and Stevens and Anne-Marie, Thanos, and Falsis as well, guys. Welcome to our afternoon session. We are here to give you all the support you need to become a successful trader. I just can keep telling it. Knowledge is a treasure. Practice is the key to it. So here at traderme.com, you get the knowledge, which is the treasure, and here in the live session, you get the practical part of tra trading. So we implement your knowledge you get during, during your courses, here we implement that knowledge and you get to practice it. So guys, I think on gold, I have to be a bit aware, guys, you see it. Anybody sees why I have to be carefully on gold? Anybody sees that? Look at this five minute chart and tell me your opinion about it. Okay, I will explain you. I put my take profit here, which is around the $5,000 take profit. I choose this point because it's higher than the low over here. It's higher than the low and it's coming all the time to this direction, just the spread is missing and then it's turning back. So what will happen with gold is it will it drop down to this level. It went up to the same level as before now it's dropping again and then it will turn up again so when i close this current position which i have which i will close maybe not with five thousand i'll go to three thousand dollars profit okay this is three thousand nine hundred because I see over here and I was so hostile, oscillator is coming very close to each other. So it might be a reversal very soon. That's why I have to adjust a bit my take profit, or I feel like I have to adjust it. When I see that um, the stochastic oscillator is not giving me a cross, I will adjust again my take profit accordingly. So just to uh, be all, trying to be on the safer side of trading. Uh, it's not that there is a safe side, it's just a safer part, you know. And um, then when it has the reversal, uh, yeah, yeah, the reversal is coming soon. We have to be a bit carefully here. Um, then I will go for a long trade here. Let's wait. Let's wait what will happen. So guys, um, this is the one thing. <laughs> On Italy 40 also, I think it's been so long that I have this trade. I think I should a bit more accept this position with my profit and get open for new opportunities on trading. Yeah. 
I see that Kiriakos has an update on checking still Italy 40. Okay. Kiriakos has an update, so we go, go directly yeah. to Kiriakos. And in approximately five minutes, Elif, we will come back to you for the US session, right? All right. So, guys, I'm patiently waiting for Paunozzi to break to the upside. Now, a few small characteristics of an ascending triangle. Let me zoom in my chart. This is the 15 minute chart of Paunozzi. Now, why is this an ascending triangle? Because, first of all, we see rising bottoms. So, it means that we are observing low, higher lows every time that the market corrects. So, this correction ended here, then an upside move. This correction ended here, which is at a higher correction level than this, then an up leg move. Then this correction ended here, then an up leg move. Then this correction ended here, which is continuously, as you can see, higher lows. And we have a flat resistance at the daily highs. So for me, this indicates technically that the buyers are gaining ground. The fact that they are pushing the high, this is the resistance and the buyers are pushing the, 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 the sellers up, up, up. So at some point they will break that resistance and eventually we will see big blue bullish candles uh, which will lead to the completion of this ascent triangle bullish pattern. Now, these patterns are very reliable. The only problem I have here is that they are observed on the 15-minute chart, but they are very reliable and they have a very nice success rate if they happen above the MA of 200 periods, which is this is the case, and we are now lively observing the breakout, the upside breakout, of the ascending triangle is happening live, guys. Let's see, let's see. We are making four, almost $4,000 on our last long position on Paunozzi. We want to recover these losses. So I'm expecting this position to quickly rise to above 5,000 and recover the losses of our last short position. So there we go, guys. We are approaching now the take profit of Paunozzi and we are seeing live now if the if if indeed it completes there if the if the candle closes there we have we will see live i'm not long mary if the largest position is is a buy it means that i'm not long okay so this is my largest uh, exactly thank you so this is my largest position i'm long i'm net long on pound nozzy and i'm basically looking for this trade to there we go guys there we go we are getting ready to hit tps on euro dollar pound dollar pound nozzy euro dollar is making us almost 1600 dollars let's see let's see we see some action now there we go there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's an alternative uh, solution, Mary, but I don't like to place trades on breakout levels. So, guys, green colors, green colors, there we go, there we go. I don't like breakout trading, okay? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So... Good that you have asked this. It's a very logical question. So, guys, we are monitoring now pound nozzy trades and pound dollar and euro dollar. Everything is breaking to the upset, guys. We are making money. Let's see how the day will develop. We are getting ready to hit take profit on euro dollar. Just two pips away from our take profit. This is the first position that will be triggered with a take profit. We want $1,750 on euro dollar. And it seems that we are getting there, just 1.5 pips now. So, Stevens, our euro dollar position is doing great. Right, Stevens? I think you have followed us on this trade. And also, uh, Oscar Francis, our pound nozzy position, should be making money now. Remember that you are free to close at your own personal discretion your positions at any time you wish. So the U.S. Open has just started. 
Elif, do you want the pass now or shall we wait a few more minutes? As you wish. Okay, we can wait since the action now has started in the Forex market. Let's we are monitoring pound Aussie guys, ascending triangle, completed upwards. Come on, don't pull back now. I think you will go straight up. There we go. That's our largest long position. We are still out of the money of pound Aussie, but as soon as we hit our take profit, I believe we will get in the money. We will cover any losses and we will make money. Now, just five pips or so away from euro dollar. Let's put the euro dollar. Euro dollar is doing very well and you can see the current candle. It's really bullish. Let's check pound dollar. I think similar pattern. It has halted above the MA of 200 periods. And that's another high probability trade, guys. I believe that it, we will hit our take profit shortly. Mr. Jose, we see a newcomer here. Welcome, Jose, to our live trading room. We are monitoring now our Forex trading positions, developing really well, getting ready to hit some take profits. But a small stall on the price action now pre is preventing us from closing these positions. Let's switch on to Pound Aussie again. There we go is boosting again for a further upside movement let's see let's see if we will hit the take profit on our pound aussie trades let's see pound aussie is a very volatile pair very volatile pair elif says short down jones there we go we are getting ready for a take profit on pound aussie pound dollar euro dollar Elif has just shorted Nasdaq. Okay, Elif, we will go straight to you. And if I have any updates, we will come back to me. All right. Hello, Jose, and welcome. Okay, Kiriago, thank you for the pass. Hello, Jose. Yeah, welcome to our live trading session here at trading.com. So, guys, um, let me see. We just nice to meet you too hope you will have some nice moments with us here so we shorted usa 100 and usa 30 we are making right now what 200 dollars on usa 100 and 200 dollars on nasdaq let me see i will close i will put directly uh no i will let it run $500 on Dow Jones, $600 on Dow Jones, $700 on jo Dow Jones. Wow, this is a nice trade, guys. $800 on USA 100, we are making $200 and Dow Jones, we are down to $700. Let's see, it looks nice, guys. We will close in let's thousand dollars on usa 30 let me see guys let me see we will put directly a tight profit 20 at twenty six thousand seven hundred thirty five. my take profit on dow jones is there we go and we we are ready to hit our take profit error come on come on come on oh, now it goes up our take profit is at 1300 ching ching we just hit our take profit on dow jones and we increased our profits to seven thousand dollars today seven thousand five hundred dollars our take our um, profit today and i'm looking still at USA. Okay, guys, I'm going again short on USA. 30. I'm just shorted again. USA 30. Let me see. I just shorted again. Now it's, there is a small pullback. USA 100 uh, has also a pullback. let me see there we go i need da, 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 da. we'll be okay guys we will get there okay usa 100 we are back in the game we are back green we are back green and we are getting the next one how much we want our take profit on usa 100 
Let me see. I'm putting my take profit on USA 100 at 7,577. Oh, 78. This is my take profit here at, at uh, USA 100 and I'm aiming just $500 here out of it. Come on, baby. Okay, on Dow Jones, it's ha it's going to have a very strong pullback, but I believe at 26,755, it will return and I will enter over there. Uh, sell position again, I will increase my, my, position size over there. So on USA 100, we are back to green. We are back to green. There we go. Also USA 100 started to move nicely. We are making right now $200 on USA 100. On Dow Jones, I'm I'm expecting a reversal at 26,755. Over there, I'm expecting a reversal. There we go, and another one. You guys, we just hit another one take profit on USA 100, and we increased our profits to $8,000. Ching, ching. We increased our profits to $8,000 on today's movement so let me see what's next what's next guys what's next we want more we want more i want two thousand i want another two thousand dollars to have a ten thousand dollar target to feel fulfill a ten thousand dollar target i think gold it's a, or oil what's going on with oil during opening oil is going still down I miss this nice, nice movement up. Guys, I will go long also on gold. Just open the long position on gold. And I will put here, take profit on gold. Oh, let me see what's my take profit here. I landed at 1,200. I believe that it will go up until 1,206. Uh, I will go at 1,205.35. This is my take profit on gold. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe we see what will happen. We will see. And as I said, we are open to adjust our take profits, guys. We are open always to adjust our take profits. Now, next one, USA 30. What shall I do with USA 30? Give it a bit more chance to move because still I don't see a strong reverse over here. So I'll give USA 30 a bit more chance to move. As I said, I'm expecting, give it a chance, give it a chance. Lady. So go back to USA 100 if we have, ooh, was nice and we I'm, let me think, let me think. Uh, okay, let's go to one minute chart and I will react on the one minute chart on, okay. I'm selling again USA 100, guys. I just sold again USA 100, and I will put my take profit at 7,550. 7,550 is my take profit. There we go. There we go. Nice one. We are making already $200 on USA 100. USA 100 was for the last two days playing games with us. And now it's giving us a nice time.
I want another five hundred dollars from this position. Another five hundred dollars from this position, and I will be happy. Come on, baby. Come on, another one. Come on, it's going down. We are making right now three hundred dollars on USA one hundred, and we opened this position just one minute ago. And there we go. There we go. We have four hundred dollars up, four hundred dollars, and we need it for this. Just one minute. Come on, five hundred dollars, and I'm happy. There we go. We have another five hundred dollars in. So we are up eight thousand six hundred dollars on our daily results so far so let me see on usa 100 if we enter another one position let's leave it to cross a bit yeah get 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 a bit higher and i will enter you again come a bit higher baby a bit more higher a bit more higher so for all of you new cameras, if you don't, if you have problems to follow me, just let me know. Just let me know and I will explain you what I'm doing. So now we have the pullback on USA 100. As you can see, we have a pullback. I will expect, I'm expecting now from the pullback to enter again a position. Come on, baby, a bit more up, a bit more up, and then I will enter again. I'm getting ready to enter again, USA 100. Okay, I'm selling USA 100 and I'm going directly to Kiriagos, he has an update. I just sold USA 100. Kiriagos, please feel free, shoot. Ready for, a, ready for a big shot guys green colors green colors all over the trades of my personal account guys green colors we are getting ready to hit take profits on pound Aussie just a little bit and we will do that on euro dollar and on pound dollar we saw on pound Aussie the confirmation and the upside completion of the bullish continuation pattern called ascending triangle i'm expecting a big climb to the upside on pound nozzy only a close below this level will cancel these bad probabilities because after all we are dealing with probabilities probabilities suggest that we will very shortly hit our take profit on pound nozzy and you can see that already our biggest net long position has reached and exceeded our biggest short losing position now is and guys we just closed our trades okay guys so we just liquidated our position on pound Aussie. we just closed we just hit take profit on pound Aussie, and we have raised our profits to 1485 euros a eh, dollars not euros apologies for that so we just increase our daily profits to $1,485. Let's go straight to Euro USD. Euro dollar is getting ready to be triggered. Pound dollar is making also nice money. And let's see now our pound dollar position, how it will react. We are marginally close to hit our take profit. There it is our take profit level, guys. Kiriakos, a small update. I just opened another sell position on Dow Jones. I increased my exposure on Dow Jones, guys. Okay, we just had a new position short on Dow Jones. Okay, guys, we just closed, as you can see, our pound nosy trades, and we have increased together with our pound yen positions. We have increased the profits for the day to $1,485. But I believe more is coming towards the end of the session. So stand by, guys, and I will let you know. So, Elif, you want to update us about this short position? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, hold on. So we go. 
Guys, I opened again a short position on Dow Jones. As you know, I had already a short position. I opened again a short position. I increased my exposure because I, I see a pattern over here. When we check the 15 minutes chart, that it's a down, down side movement. And I increased my exposure on Dow Jones. I increased my exposure on Dow Jones and I put a take profit at 26,726, which is approximately a profit for us of $999. So also USA 100, as you know, I have also a position on USA 100. And there I will put also a take profit. Let me see where we will put here our take profit. I will put my take profit here at 7,553. This is my take profit. So there we go. And with this trade, I'm aiming another $500. So if I hit both positions, I will get my take profit, my target of $10,000. Guys, we put a target today of $10,000. Until now, we realize, there we go, there we go, $400. On USA 100, it's 400 dollars. It's just a matter of a moment to close another position on USA 100. Let's see it on a one minute chart. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm waiting for you. We will get another one position on NASDAQ USA 100, the platform name. There we go. There we go. And we will increase our profits to $9,100. Okay, it needs a bit more time. However, so on USA 100, here is our chart. We are looking forward to close our position. Currently, we are making $400 on it at $500, $572 is our take profit. Then we have here our USA 30 position, which still, we have two positions, which still needs a bit of time to drop down. It will get soon there. It will get soon there. So guys, uh, I was telling you, if somebody of you can't follow me uh, because I'm too fast during the opening, just write me on chat and I will explain you why and how I did some trades. So, come on, baby. Now everything is a bit more bullish. Kiriakos, you got green. Kiriakos got green, guys. Good yes, news. So, so, yeah, yeah. Green. Okay, guys, green color again. Uh, we are getting ready to hit our take profit in $1,750 on our five lots long position on Euro dollar. There it is. It should hit any moment now. And also we are getting ready to hit take profits on pound dollar. So euro and dollar long positions and pound dollar net long positions are getting ready to close with TPs. And I think we will see them happening here live any minute now, guys. The euro dollar has a very strong bullish momentum today. So MACD confirms, RSI confirms. So I see no reason why not to see that live here with you. Also, pound dollar has managed to break above and hold above the MA of 200 periods. This technically means that we are going higher. Okay, now the MA of 200 periods we lacked as a support level for pound dollar. And there we go. Pound dollar is resuming its strength to the upside. So any minute, guys, now we are getting ready to hit also our take profit on our net long positions on pound dollar. Let's see. Let's see if we will manage and increase our $1,485 profit to a bit more than 2500 or even 3000 if we hit euro dollar as well. There we go, guys. Get ready for TPs on pound dollar. 
there we go just a few more pips i think we will get it the the momentum is very bullish today for pound dollar we are getting there three thousand dollars we are making from our biggest net long position as you can see we are well within the money and we have already covered the losing money from our initial short position let's see if we will get it we are getting there guys it needs some more time so a leaf will go straight to you do you have an active trade that is approaching tps or shall we stay with me all right stay here guys then we are staying here we are approaching as i said let's go to euro dollar euro dollar seems to make to make its try to hit our tp now it's faulting a bit back patience I, I know that i have sent this a lot of times but that's what it needed no need to panic no need to close trades before of course if you are satisfied with your results then you can close it at any time you wish so uh who is with us now let's see let's see i know that some people have followed us on these trades i would like to welcome again jose, mr jose jose welcome i hope you are enjoying your first time here in our live trading room let me repeat that uh, until tomorrow guys until friday if you would like to upgrade our your training program we are offering here at tradingme.com a 10 percent discount on all training programs most importantly you can arrange a one-to-one -one session with us the mentors with elif or with myself kiriagos in order to assist you become a better trader and see how theory is applied into practice one-to-one -one sessions are of crucial importance for those who really want to do forex or cfds trading they are full-time job okay and be professional traders so they are very important okay so if you would like to arrange a one-to-one -one session with us you can talk with your personal account managers at trademe.com and arrange a one-to-one -one session with us very useful tools the one-to-one -one sessions you definitely need to have by your side people who have years of experience and this is us me and elif so in order to assist you avoiding mistakes and losing money that's the purpose of the one-to-one -one session we can design your strategies we can give you spreadsheets checklists money risk management strategies a lot of things can be done in a one-to-one -one session so contact your account managers to arrange a one-to-one -one session with us and also don't forget that until tomorrow we are offering 10 percent discount in all of our training programs so for the moment false alert on pound dollar and euro and dollar we see a small pullback now so we are patiently waiting for the trades to develop and guys in five minutes we have important announcements for the us and canadian dollar so we are waiting for factory orders for the united states and iv purchasing managers index for the canadian dollar so us dollar and canadian dollar so let's go straight to dollar cut what else shall we observe now we will see some nice volatility on dollar cut and if we close any other positions of course you are monitoring my screen green and red colors are all over the place so we switch now to dollar cut to see the impact of the news for the united states dollar and the canadian dollar so we have for this pair very important announcements and it will be very interesting to see how dollar cut will react on them for the moment we have a long position on dollar cut at 1.28789 with a stop loss at 128.219 and a take profit at 1.29139 and at the same time we have a sell stop order at 1.28569 tip stop loss 1.29139 tp 128.219 so let's see guys how the pair this pair particularly will react during the news announcements no need to remind you that we are monitoring all the news from our partners portal forexlive.com you see there are red and green lights on euro dollar pound dollar it has been a quiet time that they are lighting and switching off patience is the key to forex trading and of course cfd trading so we are monitoring now live dollar cut 
and we are waiting for the news announcements factory orders for the United States dollar for the US dollar factory orders expectations plus 2.1 percent versus a minus 0.8 percent the previous month so much better expectations this month and IV purchasing management index for the Canadian dollar at expectations 62.3 previous month 61.9 so any minute now this news announcements will be out and a uh, leaf has another ching ching let's go straight to a leaf and then you come back so guys we have another ching ching here you as uh, a 330 just hit our take profit with 999 dollars here we go and we need it for this trade uh 12 minutes and we increased our profits to 9635 and there we go we have another ching ching there come on baby another one there we go, and another one with $699. And there, what is our target? $10,000. <laughs> we hit our target, guys. We hit our target, $10,334. Dollars. We hit our target for today. Ching ching. So let's see how how we will do with the rest of our trades i'm sure it will be a nice trading day i'm expecting few more profits on gold gold is right now a big playing around playing with my nerves but uh it's okay we will get there on dow jones i'm waiting now On Dow Jones, maybe I will open another one. It's going so yes, guys. I'm selling again Dow Jones. There we go. I'm selling again Dow Jones. I just sold Dow Jones, and uh, yes, we are already in profit. <laughs> nice one, guys. Nice one. Enjoying the afternoon session. I love the American opening. I really enjoy it. It's the time where I get the feelings up and down, and this is how we like to trade. However, guys, uh, if you didn't manage to open with me any of those trades, don't mind. The thing is, the market gives us all the time opportunities. We just need to go and grab them. It gives us all the time opportunities. We just need to be patient, as Kiriago said, to be there and watching the market so from my side i will observe a bit more my trades during the news announcement now i don't expect huge huge movements now during the uh, news at five o'clock our time but uh, i will be here checking my trades how they will develop and i'm passing right now to Giliago. he has a green color Guys, get ready for the news announcements. We are watching now the dollar cut, dollar cut trades. Currently, as I said, we have a long position on dollar cut. We are long on dollar cut. Any minute now, the factory orders for the United States dollar and the IV purchasing managers index will come out. Let's see if we will manage and increase our profits for the day. Currently, we have closed two pairs. Uh, we have closed pound yen and pound Aussie positions, realizing only $1,485, a very poor inverted commas day for us here. Let's see if we will manage an increase that amount the last minute, like we have done yesterday. There we go, guys. The news are out. You are already seeing the volatility. Okay, news are out. Factory orders better than expected, 2.3% versus 2.1 expectations. IV purchasing managers index worse than expected, much worse than expected. It came out at 50.4 versus 62.3. So dollar card is going up, but we will no important movement for the moment. Let's see if we will manage and close at least our positions on pound dollar. It has been on a green, on a green color since the morning, but you see for the past one and a half hours, 
it just stuck there so let's be a bit patient yesterday this time the markets moved and we made nine thousand dollars let's see if this will be the case a few more minutes with you guys let's see if we will manage and close any of the positions with tps so for the moment i'm letting the positions run i'm not closing anything guys let's see let's wait a bit more and see if they will react or if we will just close the day with only 1485 dollars profit maybe one of the poorest days here at Redemy. <laughs> but it's still money all right so of course <laughs> If we if we take guys the last week statement, last week statement it says fourteen thousand, but if you take it today, it says <laughs> one thousand four hundred and eighty-five. I mean, but it's still a profit. Okay, you should respect every cent when you trade. Every cent counts. All right, pound dollar seems to make some movement to the upside. But let's see, guys. I definitely want to get that live for you. Anyway, I'm keeping my positions, guys. Currently, we have positions on how many Forex pairs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs. Two pairs close with profit pound OZ and pound yen. And we just hit our take profit, guys, on pound dollar. We just hit our take profit on pound dollar. And we have increased our daily profits to a bit more than $2,000. Our profits are currently $2,075. So with this nice profit at the end, I have a finish always. All right, with this nice profit, let's check also Euro dollar. No, it's going the opposite way. Okay, I'm letting the trades develop and we will check how we are doing tomorrow, guys. Just for your records, out of 10 Forex pairs, we have managed to close three out of them. So we still we are still left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs to trade and let them develop for tomorrow. I'm leaving the trades open. We will check tomorrow how we will how we will be doing and review them. Thank you very much for being with us. Elif, do you have any updates on your behalf? A small one, okay. From me, guys, have a nice afternoon. We will see you tomorrow again at 8 a.m. UTC time. Bye bye, guys. Hey there, guys. So we closed a few more trades. Um, we closed our USA 100 position, we closed our UK 100 position, we closed our USA 30 position. And we increase our profit so far for today to $11,444. Nice one, it's okay. And we still have the positions open on gold. I will wait for them a bit more. As you can see, they are stuck in this move over here. It's not a big deal, they will move and uh, we will take it from there so guys also from me i wish you a nice afternoon i hope you could enjoy the nice oh you can't see my screen guys tell me that you can't see my screen here we go i'm getting old <laughs> however uh, we made uh, 11,400 44 dollars for today usa 100 and usa 30 they still drop guys they drop and drop and drop i mean usa 30 was in a in a four years high it was uh, it was a very high level so it was okay and uh i will see you tomorrow. guys guys get ready to hit, take profit on euro dollar sorry for the interruption i leave euro dollar is making a movement Eventually, and I think we will get an additional $1,750, and I definitely want to have this recorded, guys, for you. Let's see, two more peeps, two more peeps. There we go, there we go, a bit more up, a bit more up, a bit more up, and we will get there. Mm. Come on, there we go. This is our take profit. 
this is our take profit come on we just need 150 dollars more and our trade will close with profit ah okay Liv, sorry for the interruption let's go back to you Done, I'm done, I'm done. All right. watching my trade. So I wish you all a nice afternoon. Thank you very much, Elif. Okay, guys, there we go. Just two more pips. I will stay here with you in order to see this happening live like yesterday. It seems that a bit after five, the markets are moving. Let's see if we will manage and increase our profits by $1,750 more. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. Two more peeps. Two more peeps. There we go. Just $100 more. Come on. It's nothing for you, Euro dollar. Anyway, it will get there. I think tomorrow we will come back and we will see that trade in a profit. So thank you for being with us. See you tomorrow again at 8 a.m. UTC time, guys. Currently, $2,075. Close positions on pound dollar, pound Aussie, pound yen. It's a pound day today, as you can see. So thank you for being with us. We will see you tomorrow again at 8 a.m. UTC time. Thank you.